In the late 1800s, the Canadian government enacted laws making homosexual acts illegal, and in some cases, punishable by death. By the 1950s and 60s, gender, sexual, and relationship diverse, or GSRD Canadians, were frequently targeted by law enforcement over fears of communism during the Cold War. The government believed that homosexuals were easier for foreign actors to blackmail into providing confidential information or conducting acts of sabotage and sought to purge all homosexuals from the civil service, the RCMP, and the military using a device known as the fruit machine. The fruit machine was invented by Dr. Frank Robert Wake at the request of the Canadian government to create a gay detection device to identify homosexuals. Government workers were shown lewd images and if their pupils dilated while looking at a picture of a same-sex individual, they were assumed homosexual. In total, approximately 9,000 individuals lost their jobs due to the fruit machine. In the United Kingdom, after a succession of well-known individuals were convicted of homosexual offenses, a British committee led by Sir John Wolfenden was organized to investigate the issue. The Wolfenden Report, released in 1957, recommended that homosexual behavior be decriminalized. This report led to the decriminalization of homosexuality in England and Wales and influenced Canada to do the same. Following the decriminalization of homosexuality in parts of the UK, Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau amended the criminal code to decriminalize homosexuality on June 27, 1969, with the passing of Bill C-150, the Criminal Law Amendment Act. However, despite the decriminalization of homosexuality, little was actually done to protect GSRD Canadians. In fact, police persecution increased and society continued to discriminate against the GSRD community. And it would be decades before this community gained any meaningful protections under Canadian law.